At some point in the future, I think it's completely possible that AI will replace developers when it comes to creating programs and simple products. At the very least, programmers will merely be technicians that assist AIs to complete programming tasks correctly, effectively taking the jobs of developers. Now, this scenario I imagine is something in the very long-term future, but with the introduction of tools such as ChatGPT and GitHub Copilot, developers are starting to get scared. Here's a clip from a recent developer conference near my city. What about us in the program business? The startups firing us because the AI yeah, programs work for a lot less. They did their job. They did their job. Well, it's a pretty crazy state of affairs. But is this fear even justified? Be sure to like and subscribe. Let's get into it. As I mentioned before, the two main artificial intelligence programs that have been blowing up lately are ChatGPT from OpenAI and Copilot from GitHub. The first one we're going to talk about is ChatGPT. ChatGPT is based on the GPT 3.5 language model. GPT stands for Generative Pre-Trained Transformer. Basically, ChatGPT is a model that interacts in a conversational way. It's a general purpose AI, so it isn't necessarily specific for programming, but it's been trained on data from large swaths of the internet. So it's actually pretty good at programming. To test ChatGPT, I'm gonna use a pretty basic interview question in React, which is the five-star rating component. Basically, you have to create a component that allows a user to rate an item one through five using stars. To accomplish this, we can just type in the ChatGPT chat box to create a React component that allows a user to rate something from one to five using stars. Amazingly, ChatGPT spits out not only a star rating component that actually shows the different ratings an item can have, but it also spits out the upper level component in the app.js, which calls the star rating component as a child. On top of that, it gives us directions as to where to put these files and interesting comments that it leaves in the files themselves. I'm interested to try this out, so let's do that. First, we're gonna to wanna to create a new React app for this new program generated by the AI. Once Create React App finishes, we're gonna open up app.js and copy and paste everything from ChatGPT into this file. Fix up a little bit of our formatting, and then we go and create our new star rating component. And just like with app.js, we want to copy everything from the star rating component in ChatGPT into this file. Then we want to run our program with yarn start, open up our browser, and this leaves a lot to be desired. Let's check out the code. We can see that it gives us two radio buttons, one with an ID of rating four and another with an ID of rating five. We can also see in the comments that it tells us to repeat this for ID of rating three, two, and one. I would say though, this code isn't really well put together and it would take a lot of editing to make work correctly. The next AI program I wanna talk about is GitHub Copilot. Now, GitHub Copilot is a bit of a bad boy and it's had a lot of controversy since its release, but I don't wanna talk about that. Let's talk about how GitHub Copilot works in general at solving this five-star program. Now, GitHub Copilot builds itself a little bit differently than ChatGPT. You can see in this page, it calls itself an AI pair programmer and not just a general AI. And you can see that it works a lot differently than ChatGPT. It integrates into your editor and provides responses to prompts. These prompts being either comments or if you start writing a function. Now I have signed up for and installed GitHub Copilot in my instance of NeoVim. So let's go ahead and test it. To start, let's delete everything in our star rating component that we pasted from ChatGPT. We can start off by typing const star and waiting for a prompt. And the prompt is actually really good. It finishes off by saying star rating. It gives us a few variables like rating, total stars, on rate as a function, and it has default values for each of these arguments. If we hit tab to select this prompt, we're then prompted with a return statement that looks freaking amazing. <laughs> This code is already miles ahead of ChatGPT. We create a new array and map over each element in the array and produce five stars, one for each element. We can see also that it's trying to create a nested component called star. So let's create that component and see what GitHub Copilot thinks we should do there. So let's create this new star component and type const star and wait for a prompt. And this prompt is also really good. It gives us selected, as an argument, which is a Boolean, and another argument called onClick as a function. 
And when we accept that prompt and wait for the next one, the actual body of this component, we see that the return statement is actually really interesting. If this component is selected, it will give it a class of star selected, or the class is just star. And it also binds the onClick event to the onClick function that is passed into this component. I gotta say, I'm really interested to see how this works out. I spent the next couple of minutes messing around with CSS files, renaming attributes and variables in app.js to match the star rating and star components that weren't matching before, messing with the CSS yet again, debugging a problem, and then here we go. We have a really interesting app. This actually kind of works. Now, of course, this doesn't have star SVGs or anything fancy like that, but the base functionality is covered. And I'm very surprised because it only took me like five minutes of messing around to complete this program. So you're probably asking yourself, what the hell does this mean for me? And I think it means a couple of things. Number one, chat GPT is really interesting, but you have to know exactly what to ask for and what you're going to be missing from chat GPT's output in order to make a real program. The second one is that although GitHub Copilot is amazing, you're still going to have to write some code to thread together the different things that GitHub Copilot gave you in order to make it work correctly. Which brings me to my final point. Even when you have AI helping you write programs, you still have to be a fairly experienced programmer in order to understand how to finish these programs with the level of polish needed for production. And it's kind of as simple as that. And I don't see this changing anytime soon. So although AI is amazing, and to be honest, I think I'm gonna keep GitHub Copilot because it's so cool, you still have to have a lot of programming knowledge in order to be a good, proficient programmer. Suffice to say, I think for now, your job is safe. Once again, give a like and subscribe if you like this video. I'll see you in the next one.